Hello, tech fans. This is Kelly Vasey here with another week of the Gem Factor. So, animation for you all, right? Gosh, we're so high tech around here. Okay, so what's the Gem Factor? So if you've been watching the last several weeks, we've been featuring one job, and that one job will be ranked on a scale of one to 10 within six different gems. So we'll give you six reasons or gems on why you want this job. And uh, maybe if, if it's not you that wants this job, it should be somebody else in your life that does. And so it's your opportunity to share this video as we move forward in the conversation today. So without further ado, we're continuing our Java week. And so our next job for this week's Gem Factor is a Java software architect. Aren't you excited? I am. All right, so let's get started. It, number one here for the gem is a, a tech stack. And this one is particularly, again, focused on Java and JGEE, but also has an Oracle background and an e-commerce uh, need. And ATG is also something that would be a super plus if you have this background. Um, XML related technologies and being that it's an architect role, you really have to have gone through the full life cycle of development and have such a passion for mainly the architecture, right? So you're a liaison with the business teams and you've done a lot of the architectural documentation and analysis. And then you have quite a bit of experience in database and mapping as well. If you have Indeca or B2B consumer experience, that's even better. And so overall, we'd say, you know, this is a pretty um, extensive Java background needed and using some of that e-commerce. So we would rank this on a tech stack, ranking from one to 10, being a nine. So next we moved on to salary. And salary for this is actually up to $120,000 for a base, which is pretty good, being that uh, architects can sometimes make up to 130, 140 on the West Coast. We're talking about the Midwest here and in Cleveland, and uh, 120 is right on, right on target. And this is also a bonus eligible position, up to 10%, so that's also pretty competitive here. Uh, they provide full benefits, the whole gamut, and they actually will pay for your relocation. So who needs the sunny West Coast when you have the fall foliage of Ohio? Uh, so overall, we would rank this on a scale of one to 10 for salary, being a nine. Quick break here for some advertising on Emerald, right? So if you like what you see here, follow us on Twitter at EmeraldRG or email me, Kelly with a Y at EmeraldResourceGroup.com. I'll give you all the lowdown on uh, more about this job and even other jobs that we have on our website. And uh, for those of you that are hesitant with working with recruiters, I actually had one um, interested uh, person kind of ping me and say, you know, I don't really know much about what you do. And uh, I don't want my name getting out there and knowing my employer that I'm looking. Well, that's just the thing. We don't share names. It's sort of like HIPAA, except on the recruiting side, we keep everything confidential here. So uh, if you talk to me, my lips are sealed. I don't talk to your other employer and I don't even necessarily talk to your, um, your current employees or your coworkers. I, I talk to you and what are you looking for in a job? And uh, we hope to make that match. So that's just a little side note on what recruiters do on a day-to-day -day basis and, and keeping confidentiality. But um, no, we'll get back to the tech, the tech over here. Uh, next gem, I would say, is growth. And, and this is a pretty good um, opportunity for maintaining growth in, in a growing company, so twofold. So you, know, you could be a lifer, meaning this is a century-old company. 100-year-old company here in Ohio. Really, your next stop is the CTO, if you were to continue moving along in this company. So needless to say, this is more so your arrival point in a, in a role as an architect. Ideally, they'd love to see you have at least 10 years, if not 15 years experience within the architecture realm, and that you're looking for your home, you're looking to really take ownership over this entire role and this whole department and really delegating uh, what it looks like within the development team. So I would say for growth wise, because there's not a lot of growth and moving up more so in your uh, promotion abilities, but in a company that 
is very stable in growth and still around for 100 years, we'd rank this about average. I'd give this about a four on a one to 10 scale. You're not necessarily have seven, seven more jobs to get to the CTO level. Really, the next level is CTO, and there's only one CTO for one company. So um, that's why we would rank this a four. Next, we move on to flexibility on the gem factor. And this is a nine to five shop. So get in around maybe eight, 8.30, nine o'clock if you don't want to eat lunch and then you leave by five and usually everybody leaves by five except you know occasional implementation or something that's maybe needs a little troubleshooting but if you have to leave for a doctor's appointment great if you want to take a vacation awesome they'll match your vacation so if you're coming in with a three-week vacation from another company they'll give you three weeks they'll honor that um, you can also work from home here if needed but they really prefer being in office so i'd give overall flexibility an eight Definitely very standard and pretty, um, pretty you know, overall understanding of what uh, you know, a person's life entails if something comes up or kids are sick or, or whatnot. And we will also pause here for another round of advertising, but this is for our good friends at stingraytech.com. Stingray Tech does all the video production here and they work with me on and coaching me through these awesome, exciting, tech videos, right? So if you want, <laughs> want one of these for your companies or um, you have something else in mind, uh, visit stingraytech.com. They're super great to work with. We move forward. Okay, next we go to the perks. Free parking, no downtown. So always a plus you're not shelling out a thousand or more dollars a year for parking. Uh, boosting your brain, what does that mean? Well, they have company-wide lectures. They bring speakers on all sorts of topics related to the marketing and, and retail sector, uh, but also more on the infrastructure side. They even join up with a lot, they have a lot of partnerships with companies from around the world, and they'll host company-wide lectures and speaker series for employees to attend and also outsiders. I personally attended one of these on site. It was awesome. I got to meet probably at least 30 to 40 different um, employees from this company, as well as regional experts and um, even some global experts in the field, one including the CMO. So I thought that was really great as, as a perk being on staff. Um, you also, I think more importantly, get the chance to be you in this role. And not a lot of companies and roles in particular offer that. They sort of want to make sure you mold into a certain realm. Um, but this hiring manager in particular for this role was very specific. So she said, you know, this position requires an assertive and influential yet perceptive person who is willing to ask those challenging questions and is motivated to get the right people on the same bus. You have the freedom to keep up with and implement industry best practices when it comes to design and you have the chance to really lead by example. They really want you to take the reins and they want you to be you. You've worked hard to get to where you are as an architect now and they want you to really just excel in that. So overall, I would say perks are a high eight on this scale. And then finally, on the, on the gem factor, we rank coolness. And what's coolness for this? Well, they have a huge new facility that's just about finished up, um, has all the, the sparkling touches added to it. They have a Starbucks inside. They have some retail stores inside as well. I mean, do your shopping at work. I don't know. That's kind of pretty cool. Uh, and they also have, again, that global reputation. You get to see new product previews over at least one year prior to them being released into the market. Um, so, again, you can plan out those Christmas gifts a year in advance. <laughs> so I would say um, for... You can't get this at any type, you know, small company. I would say this is a great environment to be in a, in a large enterprise, but also have some of uh, um, the perks of just, you know, being large and kind of its own city within its complex. So we rank this a nine out of 10 on coolness. And so the moment you've been waiting for, what's the final gem ranking on this roll? Dun, da, da. 47 out of 60. 47 out of 60 is great. You know, I would say, again, Cleveland Enterprise, for this role as a software architect, you're right on track. So um, what's your responsibility right now? Again, apply if you're interested. And you call me or email me. 
kelly at emeraldresourcegroup.com. I'll tell you all, all the information that you need to know. Um, and retweet this. If you like this or if you know somebody, retweet it into your network and see. We also we give a hefty referral bonus. I do say so myself. Um, handed them out before. If you recommend the person that gets this job, you get 500 bucks cash. So um, you'll have to mention that referral fee as well if you, if you really do know somebody. But um, yeah, don't let this job, I guess, kind of fall behind and forget about it. Apply, apply, and uh, we most certainly would love to um, get you on an interview and see if you'd like to change. So um, that's a wrap. Remember, I'm here once a week, and I'm also available email, email or phone. Uh, but if you have any questions related to tech, recruiting, such, that's what we're here for at Emerald Resource Group. So uh, that's a wrap. I'm Kelly Basie. I'll see you next week.